Hello everyone and welcome to exam week. In this video, I'm going to talk about a question which is asked by many students out there that how can gate aspirants prepare for CBIT? So I am not making this video very long. This is very short and to the point video where I'm going to compare the gate aspirant roadmap to SEBI. While I'll be taking gate in one hand and CBIT in other hand. And uh, what are the common things are there and how you can get benefit if you're preparing for gate and what are points you need to take in mind uh, that will be different for SEBI and how you will prepare for that. So basically, uh, let's start with uh, the comparison. And this is the only slide that I'm going to show you right now. And uh, I'm going to talk on this slide a lot. So basically what we are trying to do, we as a student, you all, we have a uh, gate exam as the toughest exam for the technical part. It be it be any engineering stream. Uh, so when you say that the difficulty level of gate or CBIT, which one is tough? So gate is definitely more tougher because it is more on the technical side. And CBIT is also technical exam, but it is kind of managerial also. So it is not that tough. Gate, if you say it is lying at 100, so CBIT is lying around 60. That is the comparison of the difficulty level of this gate and the CBIT. Now, gate exam happen usually in the February month. So now it is over. All those people who are going to take admission either in MTech programs or are not joining any uh, full-time jobs. If their goal is of PSU and if they are not joining them, then they can also refer the CBIT as a very great opportunity. And people who are joining PSU definitely, the, if they want to try, they can try. But I don't feel any point in trying if you are already selected in a good PSU. Because when it comes to CSIT and you want PSU, you need at least a very good rank, at least minimum under 50. So once you have a very good rank like that, you don't need to do anything else. If you are having other than this, any option, I will say CBIT is very good option for you to try. Now, who all should prepare? So basically people who are preparing for gate exam, now you have entire year for your gate preparation only. But if you prepare with the gate for SEBI, it can give you early results because the path of a syllabus is almost similar. And the only difference is the way how the exam is being conducted. Also the pattern, so you need to understand the pattern. You need to understand uh, the need of the exam. Also, you need to practice a lot of mocks so that uh, you are good to go with the concepts as well as the pattern. So when we say GATE, GATE has a huge syllabus as compared to SEBI. And SEBI syllabus is a subset of GATE syllabus if I talk about phase one. SEBI has a coding paper in phase two, which is not there at all in GATE exam. But you prepare good on the algorithm, the data structures, the programming concepts. So they are going to help you in coding, basically. So what you need to do, you have the raw material, you know everything, but how to make that into codes? That is a different story itself. So I will say this is the major difference and the deciding factor. If you are a gate aspirant and you do not like coding at all, then SEBI IT might be a little tough for you. But if you are a gate aspirant and you like to code and you are good with coding and you want your career to be in coding, then this particular SEBI IT program and the job will be very good opportunity for you because from the exam dimension also, you can understand that it requires a good kind of a coding skills. Also, SEBI is dealing with uh, upcoming technologies which are already in place like data lakes, data warehouses, data analytics. So it is moving with the technology. It is unlike like other uh, government organizations which are not coping up with the technological changes. SEBI is actually coping up with that. So it's a very positive sign. So very great opportunity with just little effort. Like whatever you're doing for it, keep doing that. Before the exam, just focus on the SEBI specific phase one syllabus, prepare that only more specifically, attempt mocks. And the level of the questions will be way easier. Like 60% will be the difficulty level for SEBI, 100% if it is for GATE. So that will be the comparison, I'll say. Sometime it will fall below 60 also. So that is all about you, how you take it. But definitely phase one will be very easy. Because gate also have small section for the QRE and here also QRE section is there. So people actually prepare. And once you are an engineering graduate, your QRE is no longer that weak. If it is weak, then that is a red flag. You have to consider that and prepare according to that for phase one because that is qualifying in nature. But yet again, I'll say you have a good number of questions and you can definitely get minimum 30% out of QRE and GA. So this is the whole happen part. You can see GA is coming a little extra. But if your QR is strong, you no longer need GA as your backup also. Now, 
no english descriptive is in gate but english descriptive is there in sebi and that is very crucial a deciding factor for your e selection as well as for your interview call many people don't even get interview call because of little low score in the english descriptive so there you have to focus a lot there you have to prepare a lot and uh, this is the major bifurcation i will say between the sebi it and gate so now the question are should i or should i not again i will tell you some parameters according to which you should decide that whether you want to go for sebi it or not first of all if you are only targeting psus or if you want to do mtech only or you want to go in the research field then don't go for sebi because then your aspirations are different but if you have good technical knowledge and you want decent job then definitely sebi it is a very good opportunity even if you are pursuing your mtech so many people actually i have seen pursue mtech and uh, when they are in first year or even second year and they get a job something like this they actually like put it on hold and go with the job because ultimately it is the job which is going to pay for you if you are not planning in the research field definitely for the very first section i have said if you are going for mtech to do the research work then you are targeting phd or anything like that don't go for sebi then it is not your part it is not suiting your uh, career choices but if you are not into that you just want a good degree a decent job then sebi it is very good opportunity because you have prepared a great uh stuff on your technical part so definitely you are a very good candidate and if you hold a very good rank in gate that will also give you an advantage in your uh, final interview and in your final selection your your uh, resume will be very different from other so that is like two options for the people now the third option come for all the people who are in fourth year and are preparing for gate and maybe this time they didn't had any much luck and they were they are not doing that great so i will say uh you can uh, like uh, join if you have something in your hand and prepare for sebi it this like parallelly it's completely your personal choice otherwise i'll say definitely you should give it a try for sebi it what if this year you didn't make, make it but you will have a good experience you will get to know where you're standing and the next year you will be very good to go for the final exam so definitely if you are going for government exams you have to give at least a year for the preparations if you are preparing beforehand then all those preparation will club together and help you for the sebi exam but if you are freshly jumping into the pool of government jobs you should give yourself at least one year uh, even if you are getting the first selection so that is the thing that timeline should be in your mind if you are not able to give that timeline then uh, that is a different scenario but if you can if you can manage it with the job or you can manage with study then definitely sebi it is a very great opportunity and this year we have more number of vacancies as compared to the rest of the years so this was about the gate and cbit when i say gate i was specifically mentioning about the gate computer science and it students i am not mentioning about any other stream candidates although they are also allowed to enter into the cbit examination but that is a different set because people who are preparing completely for gate for other stream then it is very difficult to migrate for that particular scenario to the cbit scenario so that was my input and the answer to all the gate aspirants for csit how they have to tackle the sebi it so these things are the win points bullet points which you have to think analyze yourself your strength and weakness and then you can take a decision i hope this video was good and was helpful for you to guide whether you are in stuck in your decision uh, to make your decision and make a clear crystal picture so that was all from my side if you like this video do hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you are an unsubscribed user to get the regular updates from our side hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video when we bring such kind of uh, technical as well as non technical videos so you will get it uh, as a notification from the youtube and you will never miss on any important video for your stuff you can prepare 50% faster with iexambi by checking out our course that you can check from www.iexambi.com at the same time if you have any query you can call us on the number that is flashed on the screen or you can write us at hello@iexambi.com so that was all from my side see you in the next video till then keep practicing and stay updated